Welcome to video 15 on the SCARM Model Railway Editor. In this video we'll have a look how we can create an image file from the design we made or how we can print it, which could even be one-on-one -on -one to support laying the track. And we'll also see how we can create a parts list to order the parts at a shop. Suppose we'd like to have an image uh, of this layout. What we could do in Windows 10, create a screenshot by pressing the Windows key and the print screen key simultaneously. This renders a uh, file uh, on your hard disk somewhere and the size of this file is the size of your monitor, the pixel uh, size. We can also export the image out of SCARM and in an export the size of the image is different. It is one pixel per millimeter and this layout is 3000 millimeter. Well, that will render a image of approximately 3000 times 3000 pixels. How to export it? We go to the file menu and there's an entry called export and when we click it we can select a folder where we want the image to end up over here we can give a file name over here and in this drop down we have the option to save it as a bitmap or a jpeg or an emf file well let's choose jpeg let's save it in the download folder in my case Let's have a look in the file manager if it ended up over there. Uh, wait a second, downloads. Yeah, there is my file. If I click it, I get my image viewer. And this is the JPEG image it created. Well, that's nice. Uh, suppose we like to print this layout. Uh, again, we go to the file menu and this time we click print. Uh, I don't have a printer, uh, so I get the option here to print it as a PDF file. That is something that Windows 10 automatically does for me. Well, I could do that. Let's, uh, let's just do that. Um, I'm not checking full size yet. I first want to have a look at this PDF file. So let's click OK. Uh, it now asks me where uh, I want to put it and how I want to call it. Well, let's call it a SCARM. And let's save this file. I should have a PDF file now in my browser, or uh, file manager. And so let's try to find that. Uh, yeah, there it is, the SCARM PDF. Let's click it. It opens in... Uh, my PDF viewer and here is a nice uh, paper size PDF file of my layout. It is also possible to print full size uh, one on one which you can use to yeah, lay down all your papers on a table and then place your track right on top of it. Let's go to file, print and then click full size. I would advise you to first have a look at the preview because that shows exactly in this case my A4 pages uh, which ones it is going to print and I can switch off uh, all the ones that I don't need that will uh, give me less uh, paper because this print already is well I don't know how much uh, 30 pages or something like that so you can switch on or off the individual pieces of uh, paper or you could even decide not to print all the tracks, the curves you can bend yourself. Uh, just print, let's say, the critical parts like these turnouts over here and these turnouts over here. And then you can lay your track on top of it. To get rid of this overview, uh, just press escape. Uh, but wait, we first want to print now. So uh, click this print if you want to print and then you can click escape. 
A third aid that is available is the parts list. For that we have to go to the tools. I think it is only available in the paid version of SCARM. Uh, do we have a parts list? Yeah, uh, entry over here. A couple of choices. Uh, all the parts or only the visible layers or only the active layer. Well, let's just make a parts list of all. It opens my web browser. Um, and uh, yeah, that is maybe not very handy if you want it on paper. But from your web browser, you can of course print uh, this file. I cannot do that because I don't have a printer, but again it will print to PDF. So let's do that and let's call it uh, parts and click save and we should be able to find it now here in my download folder where I saved it. Yeah, there are the parts and it is now a PDF that I can of course uh, yeah, reference later, uh, keep it as a file or print it out or whatever. Mm, very nice feature because now I can see exactly how much turnouts of every type I need to buy and how many straight rails I need to buy. Well, this was it. Maybe see you back in a future video and in the meantime, have fun.